And here, gold is stored for wealthy families, for institutions, for private banks, and even for some central banks. You've probably heard of the Pandora Papers, the revelation of the hidden wealth of the super-rich, which has become one of the most important news stories ever. The documents reveal that 100 billionaires, 35 current and former national leaders, over 330 politicians, celebrities, members of the royal families, and even some religious leaders whose offshore banking documents were leaked. The document revealed the data of a total of 29,000 offshore accounts and 14 offshore service providers that help clients establish companies in secrecy jurisdictions. One of these 14 companies helps clients with offshore banking in the United Arab Emirates or Switzerland. This landlocked country in Central Europe is popular for its watches. But in today's video, we will be dealing with another aspect that is just as popular. That's right, the Swiss banking industry, specifically how it has used vaults and bunkers located in the Swiss Alps and other snow-tipped mountains to hide the wealth of the ultra-rich, some of which were created during the reign of Adolf Hitler. We will explore how these bunkers came to be, how secure they are, and if you stick around till the end, we will explain what exactly it takes for you to be allowed to get your own vault to store your wealth. Welcome to another project. We love creating videos that simplify topics in business, economics, and marketing. Consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like. It goes a long way in supporting the channel. First, we need to understand how banking became such a significant industry in the Swiss economy. The country is located in Central Europe. It has borders with France to the west, Italy to the south, Austria and Liechtenstein to the east and Germany to the north. From plush pastures to snowy mountains, Switzerland is an awe-inspiring country to visit. Switzerland is popular for its delicious chocolate and its delicious cheese. However, it has been called by some as the heart of the shadow financial system. Why, you might ask? Well, Switzerland has a long kindred history of banking secrecy and client confidentiality, reaching back to the early 1700s. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, total banking assets amount to 4 and 67% of total gross domestic product. Starting as a way to protect wealthy European banking interests, Swiss banking secrecy was codified in 1934 with the passage of the landmark federal law, the Federal Act on Banks and Savings, colloquially known as the Banking Law of 1934 or the Swiss Banking Act, the federal law is most known for Article 47. The law that made Switzerland the tax haven it is today made it a federal crime to disclose the information or activity of clients banking domestically to foreign entities, third parties, or even Swiss authorities without either A, consent or B, an accepted criminal complaint. Switzerland became home to the most strict and expansive banking secrecy laws in the world. Swiss banks were granted the right to use numbered bank accounts and protect client information through a variety of supplementary statutes. Despite significant and controversial global events straining the country's banking secrecy, its laws have been revised minimally and to little meaningful effect. One of the last amendments that was passed on March 22, 2013, known as the Federal Act, has been accused of facilitating systematic tax evasion, money laundering, and the underground economy, alongside more generally Swiss culture and the banking industry. In 1815, the Congress of Vienna formally established Switzerland's international neutrality, which led to a large capital influx. Swiss neutrality is one of the main principles of Switzerland's foreign policy, which dictates that Switzerland is not to be involved in armed or political conflicts between other states. This policy is self-imposed, permanent and armed, designed to ensure external security and promote peace. The wealthy, landlocked Switzerland saw banking secrecy as a way to build an empire similar to that of France, Spain and the United Kingdom, and building, it did. This contributed to the political stability needed for banking secrecy. The mountainous terrain of Switzerland provided a natural environment to excavate underground vaults for storage of gold and diamonds. During the 1910s, Swiss bankers traveled to France to advertise its banking secrecy during World War I. The war's contribution to political and economic instability sparked a rapid capital movement into Switzerland. Along with protecting German Jewish assets, Swiss banks collaborated with Nazi Germany and their allies by storing their gold and cash balances in underground vaults. Even Adolf Hitler himself maintained an account at the Union Bank of Switzerland, or UBS in short, estimated at 1.1 billion Reichsmarks, which is about $8.1 billion today. 
However, in 1940, Germany had a plan to end Switzerland's independence after it had defeated its main enemies on the continent. So it planned an invasion of Switzerland, but it ended up being canceled. UBS contracted the Swiss armed forces to blockade the retail banks and transport Jewish assets to underground military bunkers. But why do the rich really like about banking in Switzerland? Actually, something that might be shocking to some people is that Swiss banks pay low interest rates. However, they still manage to give great return on investments. The secret lies in their low levels of inflation rates. In 2019, their average inflation rate compared to 2018 was 0.36%. In the same year, the average global inflation rate was 3.51% compared to previous year. This means that in 2019, the Swiss franc gained 3.15% in value compared to the average currency. They have been experiencing a low inflation rate under 1% since 1994. So, how are these bunkers used today? The Swiss Bankers Association estimated in 2018 that Swiss banks held $6.5 trillion in assets or 25% of all global cross-border assets. This means this is a huge industry that is directly interconnected with the Swiss economy. So maintaining these bunkers is only strategic in keeping Switzerland's title as the grandfather of bank secrecy. These vaults carved deep underground have been used by the rich to store wealth for decades. Reminiscent of a James Bond villain's movie set, the network of bunkers is used to store gold bottles of vintage wine and even works of art. But these vaults hidden within the hillsides of Zurich, Bern and Geneva offer more than just security for valuables. Deep in the Swiss Alps, next to an old airstrip suitable for landing Gulfstream and Falcon jets, the high-security storage facilities offer their customers connections to helipads, swimming pools, saunas and gyms. The Swiss Defense Department estimates that of the 10 former military bunkers available for sale, six of them were sold to Swiss banks to house assets during the 1980s and 1990s. The owners of this gold vault want to remain anonymous for fear of compromising security. Demand for gold storage has risen since the 2008 financial crisis. Many of the wealthy see owning gold as a hedge against the insecurity of banks and a reasonable investment at a time when markets are volatile and bank accounts and low-risk bonds pay almost no yield. By the way, we have an entire video about how a financial crisis similar to the one that occurred in 2008 is predicted to happen. You can find it by clicking on your right-hand corner. The bunkers are reinforced with concrete walls 5 feet thick. They have their own air circulation system protected ventilation, lighting protection circuits, and anti-surveillance systems. Clients can relax in the comfort of their bunker while watching an oversized TV screen via satellite service or take a walk on one of several exercise machines. The vaults are accessible by only one person at a time through biometric identification systems. Swiss storage operations such as these don't have the same obligation that Swiss banks do to report suspicious transactions to federal regulators. Even Americans aren't required under the U.S. Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act to declare gold stored outside financial institutions. Nestled deep within the Alpine Mountains are some of the largest bunkers ever built. Switzerland has one of the largest collective deposits of wealth in the world, so how can you get yourself in this exclusive club of vaults and bankers? Many banks in Switzerland offer clients numbered bank accounts, accounts where the identity of the holder is replaced with a multi-digit number or a code name such as Cardinal, Octopussy, or Cello. Safer than Fort Knox, these bunkers are where you can store your belongings in the mountains of Switzerland, far from natural disasters and prying eyes. According to the 2018 Financial Secrecy Index, the tax haven has been frequently abused by criminals to illegally evade paying taxes in their home country. Swiss banks have served as safe havens for the wealth of dictators, despots, mobsters, arms dealers, corrupt officials, and tax cheats of all kinds. However, to open this type of account in Switzerland, clients must pass a multi-stage clearance procedure and prove to the bank the lawful origins of their assets. On top of that, the company accepts corporate clients but insists on knowing who the owner of the company is, a condition that goes beyond the more relaxed federal customs rules that govern Switzerland's controversial free ports, where art and other valuables are stored. Some of these bunkers are not accessible by road or foot and require aircraft transportation. So, let us know in the comments, what do you think of the Swiss's shadowy banking industry? Also, if you had a ridiculous amount of money, would you trust them to store it for you? Thanks for watching. We have handpicked these two videos that we think you will enjoy. Until next time.